This is the video highlight of the second family conversation on NFT. Remember that the NFT stands for non-fungible token. And we, the whole conversation started because the first day conversation, uh, somebody raised the issue that, that the NFT point is basically a seller's point, meaning sell a uh, buyer's point meaning the buyers has uh, more power than the sellers and buyer can do the bargain can cut down the prices and the sellers can't really do much about it and then somebody hearing this uh, conclusion somebody say well if that's the case why would we see some nft items selling such a high prices right sometimes like a, a millions a tens of a million dollars so that's the end of the last conversation. Today, they continue with this conversation. They will be touching base on the buyer's market. What's the buyer's market? What's the seller's market? And then what is the new market, uh, especially the new market? And then what is the, what kind of a role is the speculation plays in having such a uh, high price? And then it's the market, uh, Common the way it is, totally by design or by random event. Okay, so the Emily thinks that the the market uh, become the NFT market become the way it is, mostly by design because some people want to push it, purposely they want to send some message, they want to generate some market sensation, and uh, so they can make the. Uh, Bitcoin and uh, blockchain technology more popular, more accepted by the market. And then some also raised the issue like comparing the California gold rush with uh, NFT. So uh, let's jump into this. We just have one slide. And the Kimberly is the one believe that uh, in order to understand why some NFT items sell so high a price, you really have to understand that the, new, the NFT market is not just the bias market, but it's a new market, okay? Because the new technology that just uh, did not exist before. So that's the key to understand it. And uh, Joy, the mom, uh, pick up from there and uh, uh, she was saying that the market speculation uh, uh, plays the key roles because in a new market, both sellers and the buyers can speculate. And that, uh, that means that both sellers and the buyers can have the uh, um, power in determining the prices, okay? And then Emily is the one that, you know, up to this point, the Lily wasn't happy, wasn't satisfied with the, the explanation. So Emily jumped in. She basically says that you have to compare the NFT market to the California gold rush. And for one thing that uh, in the gold rush, where, as we can see from the Charlie Chaplin's movie, Gold Rush, and only a few people got rich. Most people the stay as they, they were, uh, didn't get rich at all, even, even worse the situation. And Emily also mentioned that she basically reminded us that to go back to think again that the NFT market is a bias market because according to her, that some buyers have so much power, they can decide, you know, they are willing to pay the price for if something is initial, something is original, something is number one, the first, the master copy, not the other copies, somebody's willing to pay for it, uh, pay for a big price. Others don't see much uh, uh, value in it, so they don't want to follow. So that's why the, the, the differentiation of a bias market in the end that uh, make us some uh, NFT items selling so high while others selling zero or negative. So I guess that at this point, Lily was happy or satisfied with these explanations. And then we people jump in to because this uh, comparison between gold rush and the nft market is interesting so everybody talk about the, some differences the first difference that i mentioned is that um in the gold rush time the gold miners they just uh, try to find what is uh, whatever is it's given by the nature right the gold 
they don't have to create anything. But for NFT, the market, the sellers, the creators, they're all about the creativity. So that's a big difference. And then also back then uh, in the uh, the gold miners, they have uh, no, they have zero uh, brand power. They have no brand. They just compete uh, between each other. And the buyers will basically uh, sit there passively waiting for the sellers to, to send them gold that they can buy it. But today the NFT buyers is very different. Like uh, Emily mentioned that uh, Emily, the, the uh, NFT buyers, they have more power. They, uh, they can directly explain the price differences. So that's it. Uh, thank you.